Good morning, family. How are you today? You know, I can understand if you're not good, good. I, I do understand. We're getting so, we're being hit with a lot of bad news, a lot. And I know that it's really hard to be good and in a good place and a good state of mind, but we, we have to push through this. Um, I wish I could tell you a funny story or something crazy to make you laugh, but unfortunately, this news has dampened my spirits too. But I, I know that we're going to pull through this. I, I know we have to. We have to keep fighting. And we have to learn how to fight. But we have to fight with love. You know, hate is easy. That's the easy way out. You know, anybody can hate. And hate triggers violence. And violence triggers death. You know, that's, that's what it leads to. So we, we have to fight hate with love. And we have to learn how to love one another. And I know that's easier said than done. And I know there's just some people you just feel are unlovable and you can't forgive them. But we have to. We have to. We have to fight. It's a battle that we have to win, you know. And, and that's where your, your prayer and meditation come in at. You got to find that good place and stay there. Because if you don't, this world will act, absolutely crumble you. And for mothers everywhere who have a black son in particular. I know if you have a son. And I know we can get into that debate. All lives matter all black, or black lives matter. Yeah, it's it's true for both. But if you have a son, especially now, a son or a daughter, we have to teach our children how to love. I I really believe that's the answer. You got to teach them how to love. And the only way that you could teach them how to love is you have to take them back to the source of love. The source of love is God. And for those of you who may not believe or your your faith has been shattered or whatever, you, you have to go back to that person that loves you the most. And that's God. You got to believe that. With all this hate that's going on in the world, the one person that loves you is God. So, you know, I, I'm not trying to preach to you today because I know you may not want to hear that. And unfortunately, since we're family, we got to talk about things that you may not want to hear or you may not agree with me on. But I love you. I really do. And I'm not going to let anyone or anything change that. I told my son this morning that I, I love him. I love him unconditionally. But I want him to love himself. And I want him to pass that love on to someone else. You know, and the only way that he will be able to do that, you have to get past the boundaries of hate. And that's what's being put before us. All these boundaries of hate is giving us reasons to hate. You know, we can't hate the police as much as what's going on. We cannot hate the police because all the police is not bad. You cannot hate. The black man because all black men are not bad you cannot hate the white man because all white men are not bad so you got to reach in you got to reach in and you got to love you got to love 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 and it's hard i know it's hard but that's something that we got to do we're made to be an image of god and god is love so we have to do it. Do you really think that God is sitting high and looking low and looking at us hate each other and is okay with that? No. But we, we, we got to do it. It's in us to love. He created us out of love. So we have the ability and the capacity to love. And that's what we have to do. And that's what I'm going to say until I can't say it no more. That's why at the end of my videos, I say I loop. I love you on purpose. It's a deliberate act. I love you. 
Now, whether you can say that back to me is, is not my problem, but I love you. And that's, that's what stands. That's what goes. I love you. I have a quote for you today. And the quote says, hate. It has caused a lot of problems in this world, but it has not solved one yet. That's by Dr. Maya Angelou. Hate has caused a lot of problems, but not one problem can you say because of hate it solved that problem. No, no, it, it, it doesn't, and it hasn't. You know, I want you to have a good weekend, and I want you to go to work and do whatever you're doing. Prepare for your weekend, and I want you to love on your family. Love on the family that's not blood. Love on them. Try. You got to put it aside. You got to love. Love wins. Love conquers all. My pastor gave a scripture today because someone asked him, um, what are we supposed to do with all this? Why is all this happening? And the scripture that he gave was Second Chronicles, um, the 7th chapter and the 14th verse and i'm going to read it real quick okay it says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land you got to call on God. You got to. You got to pray. Pray is prayer is the answer. Love is the answer. You have to do those things in conjunct in conjunction with each other. You have to. I love you. I love you. I love you. And we're not going to stay sad. We're not going to be mad. We're going to be proactive. But love is the key. Okay? It is. It is. So, with that being said, you know, I'm good. I'm really good. I'm good. And you're good. So let's be good together. Together we can be. You're going to have a good weekend. You are. And I, I want you to know that I love you on purpose. I loop to you. And I almost feel like maybe I shouldn't say like and subscribe, but I'm going to say it because I'm going to see you Monday. Okay. I'm going to be here. You know, that's the plan. So like, subscribe, tell somebody about our relationship. And maybe it's, it's a little rocky right now because you're not feeling me, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You don't have to feel me every day. You know, that's a part of life, but I love you anyway. All right. A loop. See you Monday.